and welcome back to my channel, y'all. I know it has been quite a while since I've posted, um, especially anything about Pippin, but here we are, and we are doing an update video all about this guy. For those of y'all that don't know, this is Pippin. Um, I got Pippin back in October, I believe, so it's been about four months with this little guy. Um, and it has been a roller coaster of a ride with this little man, let me tell y'all. Um, he has a few nicknames, one of them being Psycho, second one being Spawn of Satan, um, and third one, Pepperoni. But, you know, it is what it is. Okay. Holy cow. <coughs> so some of y'all might remember uh, Pippin was just a teeny tiny puppy when I got him. He was about two months old. And now this big guy is about 14 to 15 pounds, so he has grown quite a bit. Um, excuse his homeless lookingness with his little fluff and everything. We like to make fun of him because it looks like he's got some parakeet hair on top of his head. Um, but I've just been waiting to give him a little bit of a haircut just because the weather here has been really weird in Florida. It's been getting really like cold and then it'll get hot, but then it gets really cold again. So I've just been kind of holding off until it's like actual like hot weather here. Um, but let's start with everything that's been going on with Pippin. So I did actually try to do two videos. Hey, stop. So I did try to do two videos um, a few months ago about Pippin, like with some updates and stuff. However, I just didn't think they were really good enough. Um, and I was doing a lot of complaining at the time because I am a first time dog mom and I knew there was going to be a lot of responsibilities and it was going to be a little challenging, but I didn't realize how challenging it would be. Pippin has made me cry several times um, from frustration just because when they are puppies, they like to do a lot of what he's doing now. Um, they like to nip, they like to bite because they are teething and everything. Right now, Pippin, he's just playing. He's not doing it aggressively and he's not doing it too hard. Um, but he, in the middle of the night, would literally um, just bite me for no reason. Cause, well, not for no reason. He wanted to play a lot and I just wanted to sleep because I would have to go to work. And he, I remember there was like two different times he had ripped my nose ring out from like biting and stuff. Um, but I had to keep reminding myself he is just a puppy. He is figuring out what he can and cannot get away with. So we had to go through a few, um, I won't say punishment systems, but uh, we had to figure out discipline. We had to figure out what was the best way to discipline him. And let me tell you, I looked up YouTube videos. I read all sorts of articles and nothing really uh, seemed to be working. But um, finally, I just started using a spray bottle and that has been helping a lot. I just stick some water in it squirt him a few times and um he kind of chills out a bit <laughs> so yeah what i did not know before i got pippin um though was cocker spaniels are very energetic uh very hyper dogs and they require a lot of attention now i at the time when i got him i was lonely you know we we're in the middle of like covid and everything um and i just i was just not in a good mental space so i wanted a dog companion and at first i wanted a little wiener dog because i knew that they were for the most part pretty chill and stuff however the wait list for them was ridiculous especially in this area i even lived in like states closer to me um and there was nothing so finally i went on a sketch site and i found pippin um he was a little cocker spaniel and i was like you know what sure why not had to drive to georgia to get him and hey, boy, did I find out the hard way. <laughs> he has zoomies almost every single night. He, I remember there was one time I left him and he, he had just got snipped, okay? And so he had a cone on his head. And so I was like, oh, he'll be fine. He's not gonna be able to like damage anything. So I left for 15 minutes, 15 minutes and he destroyed my carpet. They are very needy son of a guns. I'll tell you that. He does not like it when I leave. Here, get up here. Oh. <laughs> but yeah, 
um, before getting a dog, please do research on them. Um, I should have, I didn't, I just was very, I, I made a very quick decision um, and didn't do any homework on it. So please do your research before you get a puppy. Um, also realize you're gonna need a lot of patience, Pippin. You hear somebody mowing outside. Um, you're gonna need a lot, a lot of patience with um, a puppy or just a dog in general. So just keep that in mind before getting one. Uh, I figured at the end of this video though, I would add a few clips of just him throughout the past few months that I've had him so that y'all can kind of see, you know, how he's grown, grown his personality and stuff like that. But, but yeah, this is my, my little Chewbacca. I got a little harness. Um, we did have a collar. However, every time I would take him out walking, he was not about like, he wanted to run and chase leaves and everything else. So he was choking himself to death. And so I thought a harness might be a little bit better and it has, it's been a whole lot better. So we're a big fan of Star Wars in this household. So I got on the little Chewbacca, Chewbacca uh, harness and it's just made things so much easier. <laughs> you okay? Uh, he is quite smart. We, I have hanging bells on the door to help with potty training because as he got to the point, he just, he was not peeing on the pee pads. He was trying to, but he was peeing on the edge of them. And it's not because they were too small because I literally would get the biggest size there was and he still was just peeing on the edge. So it was getting on the carpet. So I took away the pee pads, got these hanging bells. And so those will be a lifesaver to um, y'all that are potty trained or anything like that. You can get them from Chewy. That's where I got mine. Um, I'll just insert a picture of what they look like. But basically he just taps it to let me know when he needs to go outside and go potty and stuff. So if this video is all over the place. I am so sorry. I did not plan ahead of time what all to say. I was just gonna wing it. So here we are. Um, I am currently giving him belly rubs, by the way, so hold on. I don't know if you can see him. Pippin! Pippin! What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? Whoa. So, yeah. <laughs> um, whoa. Whoa, bub. Yeah, yeah, you want to see? All right. So, he knows how to sit and everything, and then the newest thing is he can give kisses now, so kisses good boy so he loves to give kisses sometimes he still likes to bite but we're still breaking him out of that and when I say we I mean me cuz uh, I'm the one with him so my responsibility so some of Pippin's favorite things to do besides eating and biting uh, he loves to go on well, I won't say he loves to go on walks because after a certain point, he wants me to kind of like carry him and he's over it, but he loves to play fetch. And when I say play fetch, he loves for me to throw the ball. And then once he gets the ball, he loves to run away with the ball <laughs> and not let me get it. He loves to play tug of war. He's not much of a cuddler um, unless it's at night and we're both asleep and he just decides he wants to lay next to me, then he'll cuddle up with me. For some reason, he's obsessed with biting my hair, and I don't know why. I don't know if that's a dog thing or not, but he pull my hair and everything. He's always obsessed with hair. Is it just mama's hair or everybody's hair? Is everybody's hair? Is everybody's hair? Yeah. He's a big goofball, though. He's definitely got a personality of his own. He's a splooter. And when I say splooter, I mean his... He will literally just out of nowhere lay completely flat on the ground with his, like legs tucked up like he's a frog or something i don't know how to explain it but he he's definitely a splooter it's the funniest thing in the world but yeah um if you want like y'all can follow me on instagram and stuff i post pippin on my stories almost all the time um oh this is his new toy we just got his new toy he goes through toys like crazy though so i just it's like almost every two weeks or so I have to buy him a toy, but this is his newest one. Okay, you can have it. You can have it. You can have it. <laughs> but like I was saying, um, if you... Ow, uh-uh, no step. That's what we can work on. Sit. 
So like I was saying, if you want to follow me on Instagram and just see some like more pictures and like what Pippin's up to, you can follow me on there because like I said, I post my, on my stories a lot about Pippin. Um, if you don't want to, to, if you totally don't have to, I totally get that. Um, but yeah, I'm going to try to upload a little bit more. I've just been so busy with school and work and just, I've just not felt like the videos I've been making have been good. So I just don't post to them. Um, so bear with me. So just a few words before we go, friends. Um, before getting a puppy, do your research. Second of all, having a dog is going to be the best thing for you unless you do not like responsibility or you don't like picking up poop or vomit. <laughs> if you don't if you don't want a child, don't get a dog. How about that? Um because it's basically what they are. They are freaking children. But he is one of even though I complain about him all the time, he is one of the best things that's ever happened to me because I love coming home to him and him jumping up and giving me kisses and everything else. So debating on getting a dog get a dog do it unless like I said you don't want the responsibility and stuff because I do not want y'all having to get dog like have I don't want y'all getting dogs and then being like oh it's too hard like it's a commitment it's a commitment it's not like um oh I bought these pair of shoes but I just don't like them let me go return them please don't do that so think long and hard before you get a dog but it's definitely been one of the best decisions for me um you're going to have to have patience. So make sure you have patience. If you don't have patience, you're gonna have to learn because he's taught me, he's taught me time and time again to have patience because I've about lost it several times. Um, and get used to picking up poop because they're gonna have accidents and you're just gonna have to pick it up. So yeah, I like to call him uh, Poopy Pippin as well because he poops so much. <laughs> So that's another of his nicknames so yeah but I think that's gonna be it for this video like I said there will be a few clips at the end of it just kind of like Pippin when he was younger some videos and stuff um, so I hope you enjoy and hopefully we can see you again real soon all right Pippin all right Pippin oh let's say goodbye to our friends let's say goodbye <gasps> say goodbye no <laughs> okay um if y'all have any questions or if there's if y'all want me to make a video like answering some questions y'all have i will i would love to do that um so just leave a comment and i will try to answer those questions for you so have a great day y'all and see y'all next time it is currently nine o'clock in the morning this little guy was super active at 5 o'clock this morning. And now when it's time to finally get up, he wants to be a lazy boy. He wants to be lazy. Yeah. Yeah. It's okay. It's okay. Pippin's first bath and he does not like it. No. He doesn't like the bath. I have shorts on. Yeah. He likes the water though. The water tastes good. All right, come on. We gotta take a bath. Let's see. You're okay. Hey, you're okay. Okay, he's just gonna drink the water. See, it's not bad. This is what we do. <gasps> oh! <laughs> oh, Pippin just had a bath and he is, so, I don't know. He is like, Super excited or something. He's so playful now. Where'd you go? I'm itching. He's looking for treats. Sometimes he has treats in there. What is it?
to go on walks and this is what happens he literally just pops in the grass come on come on pippin let's go literally the laziest dog i've ever seen let's go see we try to go on walks and he just lord jesus Pippin. Oh my god, I thought he was there. Are you tired? <laughs>